Hey guys and welcome again to my channel Scuba Travel and Adventure and in this video I will be doing a tutorial uh, about the flashing the brake system on a 2017 Honda Africa Twin and that probably applies to uh, different models and years as well. Uh, that's going to be a very similar procedure. It is pretty simple process. Uh, there's only a few things that you will need to perform this uh, job and uh, something pre pre pretty much anybody can do. So I have here a synthetic uh, DOT4 brake fluid purchased at my local Honda dealer, uh, Rocky Mountain Powerhouse here in Calgary. Uh, they always taking uh, good care of me, uh, always uh, find me the stuff that I need to do my job. Uh, other things that is recommended, but probably not 100% necessary, uh, is your diaphragms. Two different models, uh, one for the front uh, master uh, reservoir and one for the back uh, reservoir. So those are the OEM uh, diaphragms purchased at my local Honda dealer here in Calgary, Rocky Mountain Powerhouse. Uh, Rob is uh, number one guy uh, whenever I need something uh, he always uh, takes really, really good care of me. I can't thank that guy enough uh, for um, always supporting me and looking for all the stuff that I'll come up online, whether it's an accessory or uh, parts for my bike. Uh, this guy is uh, going above and beyond uh, to, to help me out. And um, to do this job, uh, there's a few very simple tools that are required. There's two ways of uh, doing it. You can uh, do a gravi gravity bleeding or uh, you can uh, simply uh, just uh, squeeze your brake lever and uh, use the little catch bottle on the brake uh, nipple and uh, collect all the old uh, brake fluid in a little bottle and this is like a homemade thing I don't uh, I think I'm gonna buy one in the future but for now that will do the trick uh, I did it that way before on my cars so basically you just drill the hole on a cup on a small bottle and uh, you put that on the nipple on, on the nipple and squeeze the brakes and the fluid will go through there and uh, other tools that will be required is just um, eight millimeter wrench and Phillips screwdriver to open. Uh, one thing that I want to state uh, to protect your uh, painted finishes on your motorcycle. Uh, brake fluid is uh, really corrosive and uh, you don't want to spill anything on your paint that's not going to be a pretty sight, pretty corrosive stuff. So basically I want to place the rag underneath, even probably wrap it around my handlebars that way and this way if something gonna drip it's not gonna go too far. Um, I'll put one more cloth here actually on top uh, just to make sure that it doesn't soak through. You never know uh, what's gonna happen. And uh, another thing you have to make sure that your bike is leveled. So I do have my bike right now on a center stand, but in the front I wedged the little piece of, uh, in my case it's just a fish tape, uh, just to make the distance uh, from the ground on both tires the same. This way everything is leveled and you, we shouldn't have any issue with uh, when we're filling up uh, the brake fluid. And on a Honda Africa Twin, we will start with the right side because you always want to start bleeding your brakes with the furthest uh, location. And on a Honda Africa Twin is actually uh, on the right on the right hand side uh, this caliper right there uh, because uh, the line is going uh, to the left side and then it splits off and it goes to the right so that's uh, that's what we will do here in the back it's gonna be a little bit uh, simpler because it's only one brake caliper so in the front you have two two brake, brake uh, calipers so you want to dr the drain always with the furthest one away. So we will start with opening the, the brake uh, fluid reservoir, start uh, bleeding the brakes. If you're new to my channel, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, check out uh, my other tutorials on the channel, also my vlogs and uh, 
uh, adventures that I uh, that I film uh, while we ride with the guys. There's a lot of videos uh, probably to enjoy some time uh, over the winter to kill your time. If you find that video uh, helpful in any way, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want to drop a comment, that's always appreciated. I always try to respond to all of them. Uh, if I can help you in any way, um, I don't mind doing that. So we will start uh, by undoing the there's two screws that are holding the brake uh, reservoir and we want to take them off with Phillips screwdriver. One thing I'm forgetting is to wear the gloves. Uh, brake fluid is corrosive, if you don't want that on your skin. So there is your top cover. Then uh, there is a little plastic piece that goes on top of the diaphragm. And then there is the old diaphragm. The diaphragm is in really good condition. It's, uh, it's gonna be up to you if you want to change it or not. Uh, I will change it since I already purchased. It's uh, not a huge expense. Might as well install the new diaphragm uh, uh, after you change the fluid. So first thing what you wanna do, you want to top up. So at this point, you want to loosen up your brake bleeder, put on the hose on there. And now we want to squeeze the brake lever. So basically you squeeze the brake lever and uh, open the valve and you'll see the fluids coming, starts coming. Close the valve, release the le brake lever and uh, do it uh, multiple times uh, until uh, you drain that old fluid uh, out of there as much as you can. But uh, keep an eye on a master reservoir because uh, you want to make sure there's always brake fluid in there. So another squeeze, release, close, release, squeeze, open the valve, close the valve, release. You can do, you can pump the brake a little bit too. You want to be careful because uh, you, you don't want to introduce any air into the system. So be careful how you open and close that valve. Um, that's, uh, that's quite important because later you're going to have to watch uh, and uh, bleed the whole system, which is going to use even more brake fluid. At this point, I was able to refill the master cylinder two times. And uh, this way I know that I have a new uh, brake fluid already coming so I collected uh, quite a bit actually in here already and uh, I will tie that off and move over to the left side. So I have bled the other side as well same procedure basically open close and I, I run one more um, I filled it up one more time here uh, on a master uh, brake reservoir and uh, you have to fill it up now uh, to the upper line, which is uh, full. You don't want to go right to the top because everything is going to squeeze out uh, once you build up the pressure in your brake system. So um, the indication here in the front, it says lower, so that's your minimum. We want to go to all the way uh, to that line that you have uh, inside the brake reservoir. Uh, that uh, indicates that you have a good uh, brake fluid level. Before I do that, I just give a quick wipe on the edges. Okay, she's clean. And now she's stopped up, putting the diaphragm onto that plastic cover. This way you know that uh, you will insert that correctly onto the cylinder or on a brake reservoir. The shop manual uh, shows uh, kind of weird because uh, they show you to put that uh, diaphragm first and then and then install the cover but uh, this is I think way better option because as you see it fits nicely that way 
and I'll give it a wipe here on top and I'll put in my top cover So if you want to go really fancy, uh, it's a 1.5 foot-pound of torque on those screws. I'll just do it hand tight. It doesn't have to be super hard uh, screwed in. Uh, you just feel it and uh, give it a little bit of a turn and make sure the cover is nicely on. That's all there is to it. I would give it a good wipe uh, all around. And not to forget, uh, don't drive the bike right away. Uh, squeeze your brake a couple times before you start riding. Uh, make sure they're functioning properly, even though I see they're not spongy or nothing, they feel the same as they used to. Uh, but uh, I always make sure before I accelerate, I'll, after the uh, brake fluid change, I'll test my front brake and then I'll test my rear brake before taking off on the road. Uh, you don't want to run into any problems. That wouldn't be fun if the brakes don't work uh, while you're on a go. So now I will perform the same procedure on a rear brake. As I said earlier, on the rear we have only one caliper, so there's, it's going to be way quicker. And uh, I have the cover here on my brake reservoir, of course that has to come off. With this one here there's only one screw that's holding it and you can either use the socket or 8mm uh, spanner, whichever you prefer. I have a spanner handy since I'm doing all the bleeding, might as well do it with the spanner, it's not that much of a deal. And the same idea, I will take off the cap. I'm just gonna keep it like that uh, with the tie wrap on there. That's probably, probably a better idea. And I also want to place that rag underneath there just to protect the painted surfaces on the bike. And it's pretty much same principle, but before I do that, I would like to get my tie wrap. Technically, all I want is just so it doesn't fall anywhere. And uh, same idea, I will top up that uh, reservoir. I know I'm uh, uh, pretty much on a minimum line here, so I will top it up to full, and uh, I will start bleeding and pumping the brake uh, in the back. And that's where you put those regs. You see, I spilled a little bit. As careful as you want to be, it uh, doesn't really work like that. So, same idea here in the back. I will remove that rubber cup, place my wrench in there, and put the hose right on top. That's a bit on the short side. So I'll pump the brake, uh, keep the, pedal, uh, the brake pedal pressed, open the valve, all, the pedal will drop down, close the valve, pump it again, open, close, pump it again. Just make sure when you open the valve, you always have the brake lever de depressed or brake pedal in this case. So I'm back to the original level. All my old stuff is pretty much through. I will top it up one more time and I will bleed it. So this way I know everything is out of the hose uh, for the old stuff. And you can easily tell if you have uh, air in the system uh, because uh, you would see bubbles in your hose. Uh, so I'm, I'm watching my hose, making sure that there's no bubbles, uh, no air introduced into the system. That's pretty much it. Uh, now I just gotta top it up to the full mark right here. So you got two low and full. You wanna always make sure you have it at the top and uh, you're pretty much done. Now I will install the new diaphragm, give it a good wipe on top. It's recommended that you wet uh, a little bit that rubber, so this way, same thing as you're changing your oil uh, filter, uh, the gasket you usually lubricate a little bit, so in this case I just uh, spread a little bit of uh, brake uh, fluid over that stuff and uh, reinstall the top cap. Just be careful not to spill because that's only one screw and there's not too much room to play around here.
I'll give it another good wipe. So brake fluid maintenance, it's uh, quite important on a motorcycle because your brakes are running at uh, quite high temperatures and uh, the stuff is losing its uh, quality. So that's why uh, you want to replace that brake fluid every uh, two, three years. Uh, I do it uh, on this one, like it's gonna be almost three years now. And uh, I figured I better do that. But my brakes are still original, still in good shape. This time I will use actually a socket. It's gonna make the life much easier. I'm not using here a tar crunch, just be smart and tighten it up just a little bit because there's not much of a force here anyway any, on anything. So that's how simple it is to change your brake fluid on your Honda Africa Twin. All right guys, so as you see, it's uh, pretty easy to flush the brake system on the Honda Africa Twin. It uh, probably took uh, like, what, half an hour, 40, well, so f I would say 40 minutes to be on the safe side. Uh, there's nothing really to it, uh, not major tools involved in here. But, uh, I hope you liked that video. If you did, make sure to give me the thumbs up and any comments, uh, you can always place them down below. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, this, this way you stay updated uh, when I release new content. For now, um, might as well, if you're interested, I just made a video recently about the air filters uh, cleaning and uh, re or replacement on the Africa Twin and the coolant flash. So I will link those at the end here. If you wanna click that and check it out, uh, you're very welcome to do so. Browse my playlists, uh, how-to playlist, and uh, all my uh, riding adventures. Uh, and there's gonna be always more coming on my channel. I'm trying to release a video or two a week. So this way there's always something new on the channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Cheers.